Well, hey y'all, this old rip one outdoors. We are back in Picayune riding. Now let's run by the old school here I graduated from. Before we go too far, hey, roll that intro. Yeah, we're running behind the old Picayune High School. That's where I graduated from in 1976. Yeah, that wasn't yesterday, as my mama would say. We are on the Magicycle Deer. It's a Sunday afternoon. It was just a just another nice beautiful afternoon I just decided I'd come up and take a ride there is a rain down towards slide hill about 10 miles south of here but I honestly think that it's gonna go the other way uh, so I'm watching it I ain't worried about it he's, he's always somebody's carport like that thing right there you can duck in or some of these school school canopies or something here you can duck in if it starts raining it, it we ain't gonna get nothing to amount to anything anyway <laughs> anyway y'all been through here before with us it's nothing new but then again there's there's several more people here watching now that used to that that didn't used to watch so Welcome to y'all. Kids out in the yard playing. It's a beautiful house right there. Let's see where we're gonna go. I got a story I want to tell y'all. I just need to figure out how I'm going to get over there to it. And yeah, the wind's kind of blustery today, so so if y'all hear hear me fading in and out, whatever, that's usually what this mic does. If the wind goes to getting too bad. All right. Let's run right on by the Catholic Church here. We got our rearview camera on. Tell you what, let's just take a left right here. Yeah, I want to try to get over on Palestine Road. I may can just run you run uh, beach, and then again I can cut right through here too. Yeah, over here on Palestine Road. I don't know if it's still there or not. There was a washeti area. Laund Some people may call them a laundromat. Up here we kind of call them both, but I always call them a washeti area. Yeah, we can make it over here. There was this man who I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say he was a town drunk. I'm not I'm not gonna go that far. And I'm not gonna call his name. Just for the sake of this story, I'm gonna call him Otis. I guess after Otis on uh, Andy Griffith. Yeah, it's not far down here, so we're gonna just run uh, 
we're just gonna run uh, Palestine Road here out uh, kick it on up about 28 mile per hour or something like that there ain't a whole lot of traffic on this road I tell you what this deer has got the power now you get on a road like this and you say hey I want to kick it up hey this thing will kick it up I bet when I drive down here that that washed tear is probably not there anymore It would be right here on the right if it was. And we got a snowball stand. And yeah, right there, laundromat. Right there, PJ's laundromat. Well, I, I got a call out here one night. My supervisor told me, say, hey, he, she called me. I was working beat 34 at the time. She said, hey, 34 come to my location and she was my sergeant so I did what I was told I ran down there and she told me she said I heard her get a call to go to that laundromat I heard her get a call to go to that laundromat, but I had no idea what it was. And when I got over there, she said, I got a task I need you to do. She said, I, she said, Rich, she called me Rich. She said, Rich, I can't do it. I said, Brenda, what is it? She said, Otis is up in there in that what laundromat and said he has he has conked out said he's drunk and said he has messed all over himself and i guess y'all can probably figure out what my question was my question was well why are you telling me and she said because i want you to go in there and get him and put him in your car because say he's gonna stink and and in other words if y'all can y'all ain't figured out what she done she pulled rank on me she wanted me to do her dirty work and y'all i went up in there and this man was passed out i mean you couldn't eat, he wasn't even uh what what is, what is the word uh cognizant cog y'all know it's the same thing they said about joe biden Cognizant. That's a five dollar word. I don't use them five dollar words. So I went in there and I put on me a pair of gloves. And I had me an old slicker suit, an old raincoat us police used. It was yellow. And uh I put that thing on the seat and I, I led him out there and I put him in that car and I'm going to tell y'all what it would it would it would gag the buzzards off of the gut wagon you never smelt anything like that in all your life after a while he come to and I asked him I said Otis what and what in the world have you been dr drinking or eating or whatever to make you smell like that? Y'all, it was all running down his breeches legs. I'm sorry, I don't mean to go gross nobody out. I'm just saying, have a little respect for the law enforcement because that's the kind of stuff that they have to deal with. And I took him to jail and put him in the drunk tank. And you could smell that drunk tank for like two or three days around there they went in there after they got him out of there the next day or so and they washed all that but i never will forget she called me over there and she said i need you to do something with this man right in here 
I never in my life, I n I'll never ever smell anything other than somebody dead, and I've smelled that before, but I never will smell anything that's not somebody dead that that was as bad as that right there. Y'all, we're gonna go down in silk stocking. Y'all remember where silk stocking is here? Look how pretty. Almost makes me want to pull up in there under them live oaks right there, but ah, these people lives up in there. They wouldn't want me up in there. Let's go back here. Let's turn and go right down in here. It is a dead end, but y'all, it's so pretty. Y'all getting that? Silk stocking, y'all. That's what we call this. This is part of the Crosby Estates. Y'all remember the Crosby Estates? Oh, let me see if I can pull right out of here. I'm not gonna hop that curve. I don't know whose house that is right there, but that's not mine. And I can tell you, that's that is a super super nice house right there. Yeah, this didn't go anywhere, but it was worth riding up in here just to see how pretty. They must be having a little Easter or something celebration here. I'm going to watch this lady because she won't see me. Thank you. I didn't think she was going to see me because that bush blinded us. All right, let's go further, a little further in. Yeah, I hired on as a cop in 1987. You couldn't buy a job, y'all. That's about the fact. Back then, it was the, the oil business in the Gulf had, had, of course, I worked in construction back then, but the oil business had busted, and they were shutting rigs down. There wasn't nothing working out there. A lot of you people that bought these fancy houses, similar to these right here, uh, they didn't have the money to pay for them. The banks collapsed. Uh, all kind of stuff happened down in Louisiana. Louisiana was in a b b bad time then. Let's see which way I need to go here. Yes, Brookview. And we worked in construction. And construction depended on, in Slidell at that time, places like Slidell and Lafayette, Louisiana, they depended on the oil industry. But the oil industry, it just, it collapsed. And I can say you couldn't, you couldn't buy a job uh, I had some friends and uh, I had some friends that helped me get on with the city of Picayune. Only thing they had open at that time was a police officer job. Patrol officer, city of Picayune. What does that tell you? If that's the only job that they had open in the city of Picayune, I, I would have took a ditch digger job. I would have. 
it's just so pretty through here. I mean, I just hope the camera's picking it up good. And yeah, I hired on, and y'all, y'all make sure you don't miss this. Now I'm fixing to tell you. Hired on the city of Picayune as a patrol officer in 1987. There's a little baby red squirrel. Five dollars and fifty cents. Well, it was a, it was 505. That's what I started out at. Five dollars and five cents. I think minimum wage back then was about two two and a half, two sixty, something like that. Yeah, that was minimum wage. That's Brookview Lane. Let's go and go back around Brookview Lane. That's gonna come out down there where we were, where we was. But still, it's pretty through here. Yeah, five dollar. When I quit there, two years later, they didn't want me to quit. They actually offered me a position of a, of an investigator. It paid fifty dollars more a month. I said no, no, thank you. And I left it. I'll show y'all in a little while, maybe on another video, where I went. Yeah, we just gonna make a circle here, but we're gonna go right back around where we just come because these these roads they just kind of circle around back in here this is part of the Crosby estate back in here I don't know if I can show y'all this or not but I'll try and they call it the hermitage it's it's and I don't even know what it was for Maybe I can go down to this gate right down here and show y'all. Yeah, this this is the kind of the back end of Crosby Estate. It was uh, it was right on. It followed uh, Bowley Creek around through here. And I have no idea who owns that today. This is just the backside of it back there, y'all. The Hermitage. I wish you could. I wish I could show you more, but I can't. get us a little bit of water I haven't mentioned the temperature or anything but it's got to be about 85 to 90 I imagine but it's very pleasant especially under all these trees anyway we kind of circling around back in here y'all so I think I'm a I think I'm gonna get one of my favorite places back in here and I'm gonna hang it up right here while we watch the little water pump here. That's nice. Ain't that water pretty and green? It almost like they put some kind of a dye in it or something. I don't know. Anyway, y'all know the routine. I always gotta put in a little pitch for Magicycle. If you, if you decide you want one of these Magicycle bikes, hey, Use my link in my description and my channel gets credit for it. We've we've sold quite we sold quite a few bikes, y'all, and uh and I really appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all. Some people's even told me they plan to buy a bike using the link. These rip one, rip two, rip three coupon codes in there. Uh rip three hundred for the deer. Hey, whatever you whatever you buy, my channel's gonna get credit for it. And it won't cost you any more. Hey, hit that like and that subscribe, but if you don't want to, that's fine. That's fine. You're welcome to watch. You newcomers, new new viewers, I really appreciate y'all. A lot of people said good words about the channel, and they asked me questions, and I've tried to respond. Uh, a lot of people asked me about different bikes and all, and I don't know. We just got a lot of going on as far as our channel right now. But uh, we really appreciate y'all. Now I tell you what, we're gonna hang it up here 
and we're gonna say this is rip one outdoors we'll catch y'all on the flip-flop